Hello, hello! Welcome, everyone, to Northern Waters! We are playing World of Warships Legends. I am, of course, your host tonight, Phoenix61, and we are rocking the Duncan still. We are trying to get some good games out of the ship since we very, very recently unlocked it. <laughs> um, we had been doing, chugging through, chugging along the grind that is the new um, British Battleship Tech Tree, right? So. We finally made it, and we put this cool camo on it. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> yeah, I like to do, um, I like to grab, like, hold on to those unique looking camouflages. They're, you know, you get those, like, typical ones um, that you always get every single day. Um, so I convert most of those into paint, and then ones that I think are cool, I convert those into permanent camos for my ships. So, um, we are rocking a. Uh, range and HE shell build uh, now. I originally was trying this tech tree with a different commander um, and I really got, it was, it was more of a like survival build, um, it, you know I got a, however it was set up we got an extra heal out of it right and I was like kind of enjoying that along the ride here but then once we got to the Duncan and we started getting put up against legendary tier ships I was like I need this range now. <laughs> I need that I needed the better range so um, we just were getting our butts whooped by like Yamatos and Montanas and stuff um, and I just was just getting tired of it I just like didn't didn't stand a chance like a couple of volleys and we were like dead no matter how angled I was um, but as you can see so the uh, fire build is already working we've got a fire going on that Republic hit him a second time we're up to 21,000 damage already right in the beginning of the game right just a couple minutes in um, looks like he's still burning so I'm kind of like uh, maybe I should pick on somebody else while we let that fire burn <laughs> and I was kind of disappointed the you know the other ships that were going around the outside of sea looked like they weren't going to press into it right so I'm like well I don't want to turn in towards them because that'll probably end me so um, I decided to turn away and I was like, alright, let's see if we can't pick on this Musashi out here. And then I'm looking, using my torpedoes here, and, and he's backing up too. I'm like, come on. <laughs> so, we may do a full loop-de-loop -loop around here. We'll kind of have to see what happens. Um, but I, I do feel like this ship, and I'm not like an armor expert. I don't go through the, the armor details on the, on the overview pages of the ships very much. Um, but it does seem like if I'm kiting away... You know, if I'm kind of angled and I'm pointed away from ships, I feel like I don't, it doesn't hurt as bad when we get hit by heavy caliber, you know, big legendary ship guns, um, AP guns especially, right? So, um, so this is the angle that I don't enjoy um, having <laughs> against enemy ships. But the, like, the worst threats are kind of out of reach of us right now, and, you know, I keep keeping an eye on our, our range on our mini-map or the hammerlock. Just call those circles, um, but yeah. So then, then I'm like, all right, this Alaska looks like he's trying to just kind of camp here to cap the zone, um, but he's just barely in range of us. I'm like, we can pick on him as long as he can pop up and and be spotted for uh, a couple of seconds here and there, right? So spotted him again. We didn't get a fire, so I'd like to shoot on shoot at him one more time. And um, we do it with this build, and I, I should have gone through it too. I'll go through how I have the commander set up for it at the end of the uh, match. Um, but I think when I was looking at it, you know, after setting up the commander and all the, the you know the mods or modules, whatever you want to call it, however the the stuff that we picked for this ship, the fire setting chance was like forty five percent. It was something pretty pretty wicked sweet, and I think that's even better. Even with the same commander on my like Marlboro, I think this is even better than my Marlboro. Um, for, for fire setting chance. It doesn't have the, like, um, superior HE penetration shells, though, but, like, they're still, they're still wrecking pretty good, and half the time I'm trying to get fires on people anyway, um, so, yeah, uh, but the, and the AP shells are definitely, uh, worth firing when the opportunity presents itself, right, so you definitely want to, um, keep an eye out for those opportunities and, and you've got a good broadside shot against somebody switch if you can switch to those APs right um, if, if time allows it right <clears throat> you almost have to like half the time when it happens to me I'm like all right he's gonna turn broadside so I switch and then he doesn't or like it takes so long for the reload right like this would be a nice AP shot on this Alaska and we just we don't have it loaded so here we switch 
to AP in the hopes that he kind of continues to do what he's doing. And then here's the one I noticed, like the Yamato and the, uh, I think the other battleship uh, was also coming in as well. Um, and so I do not really want to... I'm looking at him more so because I want to make sure he's not looking at me. Because um, I'm going to try and turn away. <laughs> so that was the whole purpose. Otherwise, I probably would have been forced to like keep my nose pointed in towards them so that it wasn't just completely broadside. But yeah, that was my... I wasn't planning on firing at him. I was literally just looking to see where he was looking. So that I can now I can get turned around and I am a little bit broadside to one of those battleships in the middle of the map you can see there, um, but I don't think he was he I hadn't seen shells come from that direction the entire game right so yeah that guy that Columbo, <laughs> so um, yeah so I was like all right this is going to be worth the risk if I can get a better you know sort of kiting position pointed away from these ships I can try and just kind of whittle people down over at zone C while my team over at zone A enjoys the luxuries of not getting fired at. Hopefully they can, um, you know, do do their jobs over there, take out some of those ships, at least that Columbo, at least that, at least that legendary battleship, right? Um, so now we're just, we're running into an issue of like people not being spotted for us at the moment, right? But yeah, so those dudes need to take out that Columbo. We need, they need to give me one ship not to worry about. <laughs> in this match. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we, our plan here, we're going to just pick on this Yamato and this Alaska as much as they'll allow us to. And then there is a destroyer too, and it's kind of, it's a little unnerving that we don't know which way he's going. The last time he was spotted, he was in the middle of zone C and he was, you know, pointed away, right? Um, but it's been quite some time, so I'm sure he's either headed this direction or he's headed towards A, where our other, you know, the vast majority of our battleships on our team are. I mean, we do get a little bit, we do luck out here. This Yamato is super hyper-focused on other people on the map, which is like, you know, it's totally fine. Like, it, you know, shoot whoever you've got the best shot at, right? Um, but the, it, it is allowing us to kind of just slowly but surely <laughs> shoot him every once in a while, get a fire every once in a while, and that just does our job for us, right? So um, Alaska, we'll take a shot at him. He's the only one spotted. And then as you can see, I'm, I'm getting better at holding off on using my heels for this ship, especially. Like, it's got the, like, super duper heel, right? Um, some people call it, like, the zombie heel, which is, like, basically because you're, like, damn near dead, and then you can pop your heel, and you're like, oh, you're totally, yeah, like, 75% health again, <laughs> suddenly, right? Um, so I think my success in this game came around to making sure I was managing... Um, damage kind of the heels correctly, right? But yeah, we just we need these. We need these. This Alaska to be spotted. Like he's going to be the enemy. Like AP. I know I've been in the Alaska and I've shot at like you get good broadside shots at like like even like the motto. Like you just you know where to shoot him with those AP shells. Like you can get those Citadel hits and it'd be brutal, right? So I want to make sure I don't angle poorly against this Alaska, right? So. Two fires set there, but he is also looking at those other battleships on our team. Um, I don't know if they're like, oh, that, that, that Duncan's weak, or Phoenix 6-1 just sucks, don't worry about him. <laughs> but we can see that Zone D is starting to get capped literally just before that Alaska got into the zone, I'm pretty sure. So we'll see once, um, once we get a hit on him here, what the defend looks like. Yeah, so it, there's still some cap going on, so we know for sure that we've got a destroyer in there, right? So um, we're going to head towards the Alaska, and I kind of wish I had, I was like, ah, torpedoes can't be here yet, right? <laughs> but somebody else was planning ahead. Um, I just absolutely love, I'm so I, I'm so in love with the, the way these torpedoes work on this ship. You get, like, they're, they're heavy torpedoes, like, they do a ton of damage. But, you know, they're single launchers, but you can fire them, like, damn near straight out front of the ship, right? Like, they curve as they come out um, and go whichever way you had aimed them, right? So, so we're hitting full reverse here, and my hope is that any, you know, that, that destroyer launched torpedoes, and those will now go somewhere in front of us, right? So we've switched to AP because this Alaska is, you know, kind of broadside to us, right? And then he does start turning in right at the perfect time, so we get a whole lot of nothing out of him. Um, so let's get some more torpedoes. 
And then we're keeping an eye on this Republic. Alright, speaking of torpedoes, here they come. We got two fires going on us, why not add a flood to that? Um, and then, yeah, so this Republic, like, we should have been dead, like, a lot, like, if anyone was paying attention, like, call out a target that's damn near dead, you guys, like, call it out, and <laughs> shoot that guy. But, uh, we will, <laughs> we will wait for our heal. But yeah, I'm looking at this Republic, I'm looking at that Yamato, none of them are looking at me, right? So we're just gonna, we're gonna take this Alaska out with Torps. And then, I'm not even gonna bother shooting my guns at him, because I know he's dead, I know he's screwed. Look at how much damage that torpedo did, I think it's like 20,000, it's something like obnoxious, right? Yamato, that's a great shot on him. So in love with the fact that we have a P loaded. We get our damage con back, Good night, Yamato. 8,000 health. You know me, you know my favorite saying is you only need one health point to win a game. And that's, that's what we're going to do. They got, what is it? They got five ships left to our three. All because nobody wanted to shoot at me. <laughs> Alright, so we're using the torpedoes to gauge just where, what direction this Republic is heading. And he is heading away. And still not looking at us. He's gonna wish he shot at us um, in a couple of minutes. <laughs> and then Des Moines. If this Des Moines keeps coming around, we're gonna have to uh, pay attention and see when we can switch to AP for him. But for now, we need to get we need to get to work on this Republic. Like he needs to be he needs to be burning. <laughs> He's not burning. I cannot believe he like. It hasn't even like looked over here to see how much health I have left. Like, could have finished me off. I could be dead. I, I could be dead. They're like, nah. That guy sucks. <laughs> there we go with high caliber on that hit. And another four seconds. We'll get this zone cap because people kept ignoring me. Come on, baby. So I got that Torp going at that Des Moines, and I was kind of hoping, like, I mean, uh, yeah, that's got to be luck, right, you know, but I was kind of hoping for it, right? <laughs> well, we didn't, we didn't lead him enough, and I'm like, do I send one towards this Republic in case he starts pressing forward, right? But these reload pretty, pretty quick, I think it's like, yeah, it's 55 seconds, so just under a minute, right? And then this is where I wish I had AP loaded for this guy, right? So we're going to have to shoot HE shells into his broadside. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll try and spin around and then I'm like all right you know like well I, I should have AP but it's like he's so so close to dead now like but I switch because I'm an idiot I could have used that that third turret right now to finish him off like he could be dead like I could have done it but we're in range of secondaries that torpedo looks like it's gonna hit him boosh done <laughs> But the problem remains now. That destroyer is still out there, and that is no bueno for us. <laughs> so there he is. He gets himself spotted. I don't know what he was thinking. <laughs> I don't know what he was thinking. But all right, so we're gonna slam the brakes here. Um, the second these torpedoes get past us, we're gonna dump our our good luck torpedo in the direction that he's heading. Um, but we've got it in full reverse so that re that Republic can't get an angle on us. So I'm worried about that Republic just finishing us off real easy here. Um, and I think it looks like our destroyer is wanting to not fire his guns, uh, but he does. Um, but yeah, because he's weak too, so I think he's kind of hoping like, come on battleship, finish him off for me. Um, and then we get in range of secondaries, trigger the secondary booster, and then this rear turret, and by rear I mean that weird middle one, um, gets, <laughs> gets line of sight on him. So now it is just down to the Republic. 212,000 damage. This is probably my. This is definitely my best game thus far, right? We need to survive one volley from this Republic. Let's see how it goes. Oh, thousand health points. We are down to. He's got a whole lot of nothing with 50 seconds left in the game. They are ahead on points, so we need this kill. And there's the torpedoes behind us. But the game is over, and that pops the Kraken for us. Awesome game, super super fun, right? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see where we end up on the leaderboard. Who knows how this one might turn out, right? <laughs> 
216,000 damage. So I went and to um, the World of Warships uh, build legends, you know, and record site to see what the uh, damage record was. There is some um, uh, unverified damage records that are like in like 260,000 range, but I did not see an XP record above 3647. So. We will go in there and submit that one. That'll be my first ever record <laughs> on that website for this game, right? Um, made 300 grand still, even uh, even on that one, so that is nice, right? So we'll go through how we have the commander set up on this one. <clears throat> like I said, I, I originally was trying out a... Um, I was using the other guy, the other standard um, person. So this is really Andrew Cunningham. You can see up in the top right, but um, this... Ella Rossi, the sexy racer lady chick, I always like to call her, um, is the uh, commander guy that we have, right? So, um, <clears throat> no, I do not want to raid legends right now. Uh, <laughs> um, battleship, HE gun damage, and uh, shell grouping uh, for the for the inspirations is what I have chosen. Um, and then we go with range, basically anything range and <laughs> range focused. Um, you could pick some of these other things here, but range and accuracy, so dispersion, right? And then we're using my main battleship range there. I need to see if I can upgrade this um, this commander a little bit more. We're getting close, right? We're getting close. These last couple chunks are the are the hardest. <laughs> Please make sure to like the video, you guys, if you enjoyed um, my show here, um, and also absolutely subscribe to the channel. We are doing world. At least one World of Warships Legends video every day. We've been pretty consistent there. Um, occasionally we pop in two. Um, but yeah, so make sure to subscribe. Thanks again for watching all the way through.